What's up guys, it's all here. Galaxy Note 21 is nowhere near to be launched this year, meaning the ultimate flagship of 2021 is the Galaxy Z Fold 3. And we have a lot of info about the next foldable phone from Samsung. We also have some leaked marketing material of Galaxy Z Fold 3, officially confirming some of the things that we wanted to see and now it's finally coming to the Fold 3. First and foremost, indeed, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is the world's first foldable to have under display camera. Yes, Samsung's marketing material has confirmed the under display camera technology. Samsung has been making progress for years in this tech and who knows their foldable turned out to be their first phone to have that technology. But to my surprise, it's only exclusive to the main flexible display. The outer cover screen still has that same punch hole camera setup. But unlike last year, both cover display and main flexible display has that same 120Hz refresh rate, meaning the smooth experience will not stay inside but can also be utilized on outer cover display. Moving towards the back, we have triple camera setup with quite a different design than Galaxy S21 lineup. Personally, I would be more happy if it looked like the Galaxy S21 series, but Samsung has chosen this design. Let me know what you guys think of this design. But the important thing to note here is that it has triple camera setup as the Galaxy S21 or S21 Plus, meaning no ultra cameras again for a $2000 Z Fold 3. Now unlike cameras, Galaxy Z Fold 3 has something that ultra phone has is S Pen. Yes, S Pen is coming to the Galaxy Z Fold 3, Samsung has confirmed this, but it's not a built-in S Pen, it's not like what we thought, in fact, it's a big S Pen kind of like the Galaxy S21 Ultra, meaning there should have also be a case for this to store an S Pen. I don't know if it's gonna be sold separately S Pen or it will come inside the box. After all, Z Fold 3 is not gonna launch in less than $2000. But to make S Pen compatible or foldable, Samsung has seriously done a marvelous job in Fold 3. According to Eisner, Samsung has significantly solved the crease problem with Fold 3 and Flip 3 to the point that you can't even notice the crease, which is also somehow a requirement of S Pen because the crease in middle disturbs the S Pen like when you use the Fold 2 and original Fold, you can feel the crease with your finger. And for the S Pen, it's a serious problem which Samsung has resolved greatly. And to withstand the pressure of S Pen, Samsung is gonna use a thicker ultra thin gloss more precisely, it's going to be twice the thickness of UTG that we have seen in Fold 2. So there we go, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is all here in front of you. The design, the features, under display camera, S Pen compatibility, pretty much everything is leaked. Now the only thing left is the specifications, but don't you guys worry, I'm here for you. Why don't you just subscribe to the channel for all Samsung and Z Fold 3 coverage. And what are your thoughts? Do let me know what do you guys think of Z Fold 3. It's that spend like what we thought, what it actually is. Drop your thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next one.